Hello, everybody. Major League Baseball. We are here. There's Uncle Marty in the house. Cousin Eddie here. The host and Uncle Marty. So here we go. We got 16 games today and the heat is on. <laughs> Two Royals game for you, bro. All right, so let's start it off. We had a great week last week. We did so well. We disappeared for a couple days, and we're back for the Wednesday show. Sharper Bets, Episode 3. Here we are, so... Huge slate today, 16 games starting. Uncle Marty, you there? Now I hear you. What'd you okay. say? You're there now. Okay. You, need me, <laughs> you need me to say something? How you doing today? I'm doing great. How about <laughs> yeah. that weekend? I know it's been a while. All right, so I have a hell of a weekend. Yeah, we did. We crushed it. Yesterday was the only day I was eh, like 50-50. I think I was five, six, and one. But here we are today. Slow intro, everybody. But we are <laughs> rocking. So you hear me, Marty? I hear you, man. All right. So I put up some American League power rankings here. I got the Yankees first, the Guardians, they just find a way to hit the ball. Good pitching, they're second. The Royals third, Orioles fourth, Rangers fifth, Blue Jays sixth, Astros seventh, and this isn't going off of records, it's just going off of where I think these teams are going to end up and if you could bet on them and win some money. So there they are. What do you think, Uncle Marty? Who's your top three, top four teams? I'll go with the uh, Yankees, Orioles, and Rays. And uh, after that, Guardians, Rangers. And then after that, all the teams suck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right let's get to the slate so enough jacking around so here we go a 12 10 game here 12 10 p.m san francisco giants will be going to miami to play the marlins keaton win on the hill for the Giants against Trevor Rogers, the lefty for the Marlins. Any plays here on this one? Yeah, I actually like this one. I bet it too. Uh, I got Giants first five innings. Uh, Giants sneaky good against lefties. Um, Trevor Rogers. Right. Looked. Uh, I think he looked okay when he was a rookie several years ago, but this guy has a walking problem. Um, I don't respect the Marlins offense very much. Uh, the Keaton win, I know he's their fifth starter, but he's a sinker baller, um, which I, I think that'll play well in the stadium. So uh, I took Giants, first five, money line. Nice odds, too, almost, almost even. Yeah, I like him, too. I like the under, so I'm going to take the under, too, and I like the Giants, so I think it, you know, could go 3-2, 3-2, 4-2 baseball. So pick one. Marty got Giants. First five, right? I haven't been following that series. I, I you hear picked me up first right? five bet yesterday, and I think I got a push out of it, but then it got out of control with the bullpens. So I think, oh, okay. They so said they just split. Yeah. I don't know. But uh, I definitely like the Giants lineup today. 
<laughs> you can play a song after me. <laughs> All right, sorry Who's about that. We need I a DJ that. guy. Miami, that's a good song. <laughs> I know. I, I'm doing it all. So thanks for bearing with us, everybody. All right, cool. We'll breeze through these. We're starting off a little slow today. I have two left of the six-pack yesterday I was drinking, so I, I hammered four Modelo's, two left to go. So, uh, and I th- Well, it was a 12-pack. So <laughs> what is two, that, a, I got a fridge update? Eight. Yeah, fridge update. <laughs> Eight Modelo's How much left. Do you have? So, all right. I like the under. I'll put you in as. Oh, man. That was funny when you made that, uh, when you were in our fridge with all that butter. So, okay, here we go. Here we go. I uh, got the Minnesota Twins for a 105 start. Pablo Lopez, one and two with the 4.86 ERA, is going to Baltimore to go against Albert Suarez. And a, a zero ERA. The Twins are six and ten. The Orioles are eleven and six. I kind of smell a Twins win here to even up these records a little bit. What do you think? Uh, any takes on this game? Uh, yeah, I agree with you. Um, I bet the Twins money line for the whole game. Um, Orioles bullpen has been overused. I don't like yeah. the Twins as a team very much, but Pablo Lopez is a much better pitcher than what the Orioles are going to be rolling out today. So, you know, if I lose, so be it. But give me Pablo Lopez against garbage. All right. Both in for the Twins money line. Real good. And game three, Texas Rangers. We have Dane Dunning. Two and one with a 4.5 ERA against Tarek Skubal, the lefty. Two and zero oh with a 2.08 ERA. The weather, 68 degrees, and it looks like the wind's going to be going right to left at 16 miles per hour, which that would help uh, Skubal's curveball, if I'm not uh, mistaken. There, so. I got some game data pulled up here. And any thoughts on this one? Who's your take or pass? Tigers can't hit, man. You I can't like Ti- hit. The lineups suck. <laughs> Tarek Scoobles a good pitcher. I like the range. Dunning is kind of like a, a gamer. Uh, both the bullpens are terrible. Yeah. Um, so I didn't, I didn't do it. I, you know, I, I, I'm kind of tempted, uh, maybe a first five innings, uh, you take Scooble, uh, on the run line, Tigers minus a half for almost even odds, but man, I, th- this Tigers team, they got a terrible manager. They can't hit, they can't field Zach McKinstry is hitting fifth. <laughs> I know it's scooble. It's hard. So I, I got nothing on this one. What do you yeah, think? Yeah, and it looks like I like the Rangers. Seegers two for three off of scooble. I know it's small sample size, but a lot of guys are hit or 400 here, 500 and 1,000. And then you got some 04s going against Dunning. McKinstry says he's a 556 hitter off of Dunning, but that could slow down. You know, I'm going to go Rangers and we'll move along uh, to the fourth game here. We got the Padres, Michael King, or actually, we don't know the starter yet for the Brewers. It looks like the lineups are both confirmed, but we don't know the pitcher for the Brewers because it says here I got Tobias Myers and you said somebody else you're pulling up. Well, DraftKings says it is Bryce Wilson, and so does Roto Grinders. So, um, I'm gonna assume it's it's a bullpen day, and they're starting Bryce Wilson. And um, I, I'll tell you what, I, I the Brewers do not have a, a a a good bullpen like they have had in the past. So, uh, 
I got respect for Michael King. I, you know, give, give me, give me Padres first five. It's probably even odds right now. Yeah, I like the Padres too. They've been hitting too. Yeah, Padres. Hitting, you know, yeah, I, yeah, it Padres helps that they're facing the Brewers. Yeah. But boy, Milwaukee's yeah. got a terrible bullpen, and now I and and now you get more of it. First five Padres minus one twenty five. And uh, also, the Brewers were hitting, but Yellick has been out of the lineup. So, I, I mean, they're missing their best hitter. Yeah, he's now out. rolling out Jake Bowers. Remember that guy? That's the guy that used to play for the Indians, right? That guy sucks. He's batting third. Yeah, he's like a he's like a Russell, Russell Brannion. He hits like a home <laughs> run, bad. one in forty at bats, and that's it. <laughs> yeah, give me the Padres all day. All right, Padres. Yeah. I, I don't know what's up with this. I I mean, I, I, it looks like they thought Freddie Peralta was going to pitch, and they just decided not to adjust the line. Right. That's Man, I got to maybe pause and jump on it now because you yeah. know how it goes. <laughs> I would. <What's>, really? <laughs> Mike, I bet you nobody on the Brewers has ever faced I'll get you Michael to the King before either, which is another nice advantage. Yeah, take King all day. All right. Oh, how'd I skip this one? Oh, oh, I'm going off. Of, we're good. All right. Next off, we have a 110 start. Billy Falter against <laughs> Louis Severino. Pirates at the Mets. Pirates 11 and 7. And that record is really jacked up. 11 and 7, but they earn those wins. The wind's moving in 11 miles an hour, and the over-under, I'll update it. It looks like it's eight. Look at this dog crap Anything here? that the Pirates are rolling out. Connor Joe's hitting yeah. third. Talese is cleanup. Joey Bart's hitting seventh. Like, what is this team? Uh, Severino's a way better pitcher. Um, I don't respect yeah. the bullpen. No, nope. so sure. I I took the Mets run oh, line yeah. in Absolutely. the first five. Uh, just uh, the Mets are underrated, man. I I think the Mets are a, a damn good team. I know you haven't done your NL power yeah. rankings yet, but uh, if I get yeah, two Mets. cents, I I think the Mets are good. Yeah, that'll be so, next. Uh, uh, the you, back end of the bullpen. Is okay. for the, are you going to pay the run and a half? No, no, no. I I don't like messing are around with the Mets bullpen. The... I just gave away the half run on the first five yeah. innings. I just don't like giving right, away that run and a half. Both on the Mets. You like giving away that run and a half? I can't stand it. Yeah, we'll just take <laughs> the money. Well, on a minus one sixty two. Uh, a hundred dollar bet pays what? Sixty two, right? Yeah. <coughs> so yeah, that's why not. All right, we got the Mets there. Game six. The Atlanta Braves. Max Freed is going to Houston up against JP France. Both of these ERAs are in the eights, which totals at 17 on the dot, just about. Over under at this one, it's at nine. The Astros plus one twenty, the Braves minus one forty two. I kind of like the over here. I like the over of nine. Yeah, you know those. Uh, the over looked really tasty Another, yesterday too, and it didn't even come close. Or no. Yeah, not too much numbers. Yeah, never mind on that. I was thinking of a different game, but. The over under is nine in the last two games. It's gone under, so maybe I'm gonna I'm gonna take a chance on the over here. <laughs> and that's my wisdom. You know, I don't on this blame one. you. I don't Sometimes. blame you. Sorry, go ahead. No, you're good. Oh, all right. Go ahead. Uh, you know, I I, I bet this game. Um, I I believe the JP France ERA. Um, I don't believe the J the Max Free DBA uh, 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 ERA. 
So uh, I get, uh, I, you know, I took Braves first five with the run line. I think Freed is a much better pitcher than JB France. Yeah, France also gets cremated by lefties. Uh, I think the Braves are going to eat him alive. So that's what I did. All right. So it looks like we're both kind of on the same page there, and it looks like you're you're liking the over. Possibly you're not going to bet it, but you you're you're fine with the over. But you're not. Uh, uh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, I mean, I so think that, that that a whole over under depends on Max Freed. So, uh, if if you think he's, I, I know JP France yeah. will do his share for your over under. <laughs> Will the Braves give up five runs? I I don't know. I don't think so, in my opinion. But uh, hey, the Bra- I can see the Braves score nine on their own. Ticking time bomb. It's going to be a double game. Yeah, let's pass on that one. Uh, all right, we'll get the rest of them in. The Yankees, we got Marcus Stroman against Kevin Gosman. Stroman with the 2.12 ERA. Gosman 11.57 ERA. Yesterday, these two teams faced each other. And the Blue Jays won 5-4. to four. So. Man. What a complete toss-up. Let's this game I'll get in. I'll- yeah. Uh I mean Strowman's more consistent. Uh Gosman's is is uh speed has been all over the place. I don't really respect right. that Blue Jays lineup. Um if I was doing anything, I'd probably take Yankees first five because they can hit Gosman and I trust Strowman more. But I haven't done anything yet. Yeah, Stanton's got two home runs, hitting three eighty nine against Gosman. Soto's got a bomb hitting 400 against Gosman. Judge, four home runs. That's a lot of plate appearances. But they've definitely seen Gosman a lot. And you could see the Blue Jays, it looks like they struggle somewhat against Stroman. So. I mean, the bad Kevin Biggio, fifth, for crying out loud. <laughs> what are they doing over there? Yeah. Let's rebuild if it's that Yeah, bad. let's just take the Yankee, Yankees Yankees money line, and it's minus 105. That seems so low. Wow. I'm in for the Yankees money line. You too? Um, you know, I haven't looked at the bullpen situation, um, but I don't know. I'm kind of not knowing that, I, you know. Jeez, you get Yankees plus 110 on the first five innings. This kind of makes me think that somebody knows wow. something on this. Um, like maybe they know that Gossman's going to put it together today or something like that. Um, yeah, were I'm the sorry. Yankees out at a, drinking at a bar last night? <laughs> or did they, yeah, did, like, they, did Stroman eat bad, bad fish like Kevin Love? <laughs> Yeah, that's where he started his career, right? Off, we got the Washington Washington Nationals against Landon Knack. The Knack. Yeah, you know a lot about Landon Knack, cousin Eddie? <laughs> <laughs> no, my Sharona. Yeah, uh, yesterday. Yes, it, yeah, yeah, that's right. That was the Knack. <laughs> That's this. That's it's, this guy's it's the dad. Same spelling. <laughs> it's a blessed family. It's starting pitchers and one-hit wonders. <laughs> All right. So well, we got Jake really Irvin get subscriptions up. against Landon Knack. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're crushing it in those, that department. We had a couple onlookers in here, so it looks like they, they bailed for lunch. 
<laughs> but let's thank them for stopping in. Thanks. We appreciate them. They'll be back, hopefully. So here we go. Jake Irvin against Landon Knack. Knack, perfect DRA. I don't know if he's pitched yet, so I don't know nothing about this guy. Jake Irvin. Did the Nationals win yesterday, if you know? No, they did not. But they scored a couple runs early. Uh, they, uh, I think it was six Let me pull it up for you. <laughs> Dodgers six. Totaled at eight. Looks like the Giants Marlins are are uh, going to be on our way. They're warming up. So let's look, look at this here. Three ten start. Irvin against Knack. The Dodgers against Irwin. Mookie Betts is two for three. Freddie Freeman's three for six. I'm I mean, gonna go under nine and a half. I I mean it's it. It's the best team in the under. National League versus the worst team. <laughs> yeah. Uh, minus two. I can see like a six to one. Game. Six to one game I could see. But then Landon Knack, it's up to him. You know, the Nats can put up runs. I, I'll give them that. Yeah. I mean, they got some they got some You'll guys get- that can hit. They can't pitch. Uh, what a terrible bullpen. I think the Dodgers, if they have a weakness, is their bullpen. We know nothing about Knack. Um, day game, the ball is going to go out. I mean, I maybe I, I lean towards the over. The price is just insane. <laughs> All right. I think Thanks we beat this one to the – we beat it to the bush. <laughs> I'm, I'm, so, I'm not betting this game. We can move on. Yeah. But you like the under, huh? I'll go half unit on the under. There's the I, half or unit. All right, half units in. Yeah, there's just we don't have too much data on those guys. Next off, we have Steven Matz, the lefty, against Paul the Pirate, Blackburn. Matt's with a 1 and 0 with a 1.8 ERA. Blackburn 1 and 0 with the 0.00000 ERA. The wind's moving out at 5. Yesterday I bet these guys this game to go over. It did not cash for me. I was a little surprised that these Cardinals can't put up any runs whatsoever. You got anything here Uncle Marty? Um, yep. Yeah, I- all I gotta say is that both the pitchers are like pretty solid. Um, you know, I yeah, over under is kind of low, but if I went something here, I would I probably take the under. I mean, uh, I wouldn't mind. Man, it's Eight. it's really tough. They got a bunch of no namers on the Athletics. I I do respect the pitchers, but it's a pretty good line. I don't see yeah. any value. Yeah. I'm gonna actually pass as well, so I'm just gonna wait for the wait. As far as I do, like you're really gonna disappoint our big fan base over. in Oakland. But I'm gonna wait today because yesterday I didn't get it, and maybe it's <laughs> what the hell half unit. I'm going. There is an eight and a half, and there's an eight. ESPN bet has an eight and a half. What do you think of this, Uncle Marty? ESPN bet for this game, the Cardinals over eight and a half. They're going to give you plus 110 for the under eight and a half, minus 130. I'm seeing this a lot on ESPN bet. So minus 130. That's crazy. Well, but. they're they're aware that their line is a half point higher. That's why. So, yeah, they're trying to lure, yeah. lure more money in. Right, right. I mean, that's, they're giving you the. It's like if you're in, if you're in over taking under a better bet, you're getting an extra half run. You're gonna freaking do it, right? Yeah, right. I would like so to see go, what the lineups are going to be today too, though. It's a getaway day. Yeah, let's might, wait on the lineup. These teams might roll out some crap. I mean, <laughs> how would you know with the A's? 
if they're together crappy lineup or not. I don't even know who they have. The bottom half of this yeah. order. Daryl Hernays? Who the hell's yeah. that? <laughs> what a terrible team. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, Hernays. All right. Cincinnati Reds against Seattle. 410 start. Andrew Abbott, the lefty, one and one with the 2.6 ERA, is going against Bryce Miller, two and one with a 1.96 ERA. Cincinnati's got some pretty solid numbers against Miller. Yeah, five of the six hitters have seen Miller and are hitting over 333. So that's going to do well for the Reds. And this game is played indoors in the dome. Let's get an updated well, line. I don't know if it's going to be open or not. Seven and a half. Yo, that's right. Yeah, seven and a half over under. The Reds plus 115. See who won yesterday. Uh, I'm pretty sure the, the Mariners, Mariners beat them three to one yesterday. <coughs> you think the Mariners have a chance against the lefty Abbott today? Uh, Abbott is an extreme fly ball pitcher. Um, and the Mariners hit lefties well. Uh, this is going to be a lot of fly balls. Um, so you, what are you betting? You're betting on the Mariners to hit some dogs off those. Um, yeah. and, uh, I, I think they do. I think they do. Um, I like the Mariners. That's a tasty. I'll go over. All right. Yeah. You know, like people think this Bryce Miller guy is great. I, I just don't think there's much of a sample. I saw his speed is down a mile per hour this year. I, I, I don't really, really respect the bullpens. I, it's a sneaky overplay. Not a bad bet. Not a bad idea. Yeah. Minus 108. I'll take that. Not much juice. I love the minus 106, minus 108s. All right. Next off, we have the – well, next – sorry. Next off, we have Ryan Feltner with the Rockies to go against. Sanche is the lefty. Feltner – one and one with a 3.3 ADRA. Sanchez, 0 2 with a 3.52 ADRA. And it looks like the Phillies' bats are starting to hit. They got the Rockies yesterday. I believe it was five to nothing. Well, the Rockies can't hit. And I'll. On the road. If flat out can't hit. Yeah. This Ryan Feltner. Yeah, I like the Phillies. Well, Phillies yeah. all day. Feltner might be their best pitcher. He doesn't put the ball in the air, though, against the Phillies. Yeah, the Phillies haven't got a home run off Feltner in over 40 at-bats. So that's interesting. That could maybe possibly be an underplay. I mean, look it's at Feltner. I mean, he pitched 43 innings. Last year for the Rockies, like half a season, um, only gave up two bombs in cores. That's pretty impressive. Whatever yeah. he's doing, can't I can't claim to be an expert on either he of the starting pitchers. Um, but uh, you know, Philly's the better team. Could be a sneaky. I mean, you, what are you getting a run and a half for? Probably free, right? What's the uh, plus run line? one and a half? It's yeah, you get plus minus one, one and a half for the run and a half. That ain't so bad. Oh, you got a you got a better number. Is that Fandle? That's uh, DraftKings. I don't know. It's, it's one fifteen to be exact. Um, I think you would probably get the half run for free on the first five innings too. Let me check that out. You do. That's a sneaky play. If you took the Rockies, you get a half yeah. round in the first five innings, plus 110. Kind of ballsy. 
But wow. I don't think Sanchez is uh, good enough to uh, of a pitcher versus Feltner to justify that. I'm sure Philly will win, but you never know. Rockies win 40 yeah. games somehow every year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, all right. I put you in for plus one and a half runs. We need some music in here. I'll, I'll lean into the next one here. We got just a couple more games left. Two more to go. The Angels, Reed Detmers against Zach Littell. Detmers 3-0 with a 1.04 ERA. Littell 1-0 with a 1.17 ERA. Boy, these ERAs are great, and the over-under is 8.5. The under looks tasty just looking off that. Um, as far as the game goes, let's see, you have a play on the the game? I guess Demers is all right, but I, his stats make him look like he's like Roger Clemens or something. But what's happened is he pitched against yeah. uh, an overrated Red Sox team twice. Um, and the, and there and there's your two goose head egg outings. Uh, I'm a big Lytle fan. He's already pitched against the Angels. I think he like they had some control issues in that game. Um, over under eight and a half. I don't know. I I respect the Rays. Uh, just a better team. Uh, way better bullpen. Um, I don't think Detmers uh, – I, I say uh, Detmers get, gets exposed here. Give me the Rays, first five. Or you get the minus 20, 126 for the whole game. Uh, that's probably a better play. It's pretty reasonable. What's your play? I got the under eight and a half. I'm taking Rays. Money line. Oh, Rays, okay. Just money line? Yeah, just money line. Minus 122? Yep. Yeah. Yes, sir. Probably get a better number out there. We'll put it at 118. What the hell? <laughs> 122, 120. I guess I can't do that. All right, it's 122 <laughs> where I see it. <laughs> People rely on you for All right. news and All right, last one to go through. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Let's see if I could find it. No, I'll just leave it. Oh, it's a minus 125, so that's the best number. Yeah, minus 122. <laughs> I, I bet it as we spoke. All right. Yep. Final game. Unless you want to touch up on any of those White Sox. I don't got nothing there. Maybe take – maybe I'll just say this. Maybe I'll take we one of the White the game. Sox games. Yeah, we skipped them. I know we have one more here. Uh, the in the Guardians, the Indians, uh, the Guardians. Ben Lively against Tanner Hawk. Lively zero ERA. I think he's getting his first uh, start on the bump against Tanner Hawk. Two and one with a two point zero four ERA. Over under was it nine? Now it's eight and a half. And the Guardians, plus 110, and they'll be going for the sweep. Am I correct? The Guardians over Boston. Marty? I think he paused out. Oh. Get him back in. It looks like Uncle Marty stepped out for a minute. We'll get him back in. Let's see here. All right. So Tanner Hawk. Ben Lively against Tanner Hawk. And, yeah, the Guardians are be going for the sweep tonight. I think he's back in. We'll add him. Yep. All right. Thanks, everybody, for being patient there. Looks like we lost him. We got him back. 
Oh, there he is. All right, there, we're both back. All right, I didn't even say it. All right, Guardians at Red Sox, and the Guardians are going for the sweep. Is that correct? Yeah, with Ben Lively on the mound. How do you think that's going to work out? <laughs> Probably not good. Against Hawk? Spoiler alert, yeah. not good. The Indians got good. <laughs> yeah, the Indians got good numbers against Hawk. So I like the over. I'm going to keep it simple. It went from nine to eight and a half. I'm going to get on it right now. Betting the over eight and a half. You got anything here? You know, the Indians have been swinging it. Um, ben Lively's terrible. Ban box. Um, I I don't believe in this Red Sox pitching renaissance. So uh, I don't I, I don't mind that eight and a half. Um, so there's my take. Probably not going to bet it. We did skip a game though, Eddie Rose. Because uh, oh, okay. we skipped the Cubs game. No. Oh, we'll get it. Yeah. Thanks for catching it. And I got a hot take. Our producer is. Oh, cool. I'm excited. Okay, here we go. Jordan Wicks for the Cubs against the Arizona Diamondbacks for a 340 start. Wicks 0-2 with a 5.68 ERA against Brandon Puffett. 1-0 with a 6.48 ERA, the righty. It's in Arizona in the Dome. And go ahead, Uncle Marty. You Is that how you pronounce that? Puffett? <laughs> Is that... That's pretty amazing. I've never actually heard that guy's name be pronounced before. Yeah. P. Fat. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that. They gave his name three, three extra letters. So it's P F A A T T P. Fat. <laughs> and the Cubs got a number on him, but I'll let you go i don't i'll let you take it i i think you're going there what do you what do you uh, think uh yeah bet the over there there it is hot take bet the over because these pitchers stink and uh the over i really like the over i'm today. gonna go i like the cubs plus 105 so i'm going cubs and watch that money line when I'm done typing, it's going to go to like minus 120, Cubs. All right. And you like the over. Is there an eight and a half out there already, Marty? Fandle? I didn't. I didn't look. Uncle Marty did not look. Marty, already. But uh, the lineups right, haven't even come look. out yet. I'll get you the better number. There is an yeah, eight I and a half. Yeah, I stopped shopping around. You found, it, you found it eight and a half somewhere? I see nine. But it's doing the minus 130. It's doing minus 130. That's what I touched up on earlier. Yeah. That's at ESPN? So, yeah. Where's the minus 130 at? It's interesting. I think you can you, – it's like you're – yeah, you're like – you're taking the house side. It's like taking a 60% bet, it seems like. You know, 60 – or 50 – Minus 130, I don't know. But you got it. I, I got in. Where did you find it at? At, at, my, at eight and a half. ESPN bet. ESPN oh, bet. Okay. Cubs wicks against Brandon Fat. Over. I, I might have to eight sign and up and get a bonus. Yeah, do it. Minus 130, but it's nine. Yeah, DraftKings. So, hmm. so we got All you right. in for well, the over. I'm, I'm going to wait until the lineups come out. I'll tell you that. Yeah, we'll get. We got you in for the over though. And uh, anything on these White Sox games? Mm, no, not until I see some lineups. Uh, I like Singer. 
weather could play an yeah, the weather could play an important role. I would avoid the Singer game. I mean, I would I like Singer, but I would play the other game and maybe take the White Sox money line. But let's go here with Singer. Singer 2 and 0.98 ERA against Cannon. White Sox against Singer. Eloy Jimenez hitting 455. In that, and the rest or Vaughn 308. Not betting on, the, not playing in the first game. The lineups are out. Yeah. Paul well, DeYoung is hitting six. Game two, there's no matchup. Yeah. Game two, oh, there's okay. nothing oh, out yeah, right I now. Man, I see. Yeah. Uh, Eloy, okay. So the Royals are I'm using not... their A lineup in the first game. So that makes me want to take the Royals in that first game. <clears throat> I don't know. But I got to go, Mr. Uh, Uncle uh, <laughs> Cousin Eddie. Cousin Aunt Eddie. Matilda's calling me up. It's time to – I got to uh, do the tell her. With Aunt Matilda. All right. Well, you go do the laundry, Uncle Marty. And uh, what song do you want to hear on the way out of here? Here. Play some Gizzard Wizard for me. Gaia. <laughs> oh, Molly too close enough. All right, I couldn't find it. All right, everybody, <laughs> thanks for hanging in there. We're already forty-three minute show. This this show was longer than a baseball game, but we love you all. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. I think we got some winners here. What do you think, Uncle Marty? And I'll let you out of here. You're already out of here. We're doing All right, we're peace do out. Great. Have fun. Later. Yep. Later out. <laughs>